Two deputies pinned down by a man believed to be on drugs Christmas morning. One deputy even having to fight for her life. Now this happened in Davis County along Highway 89. ABC 4's Jason Wynn reports tonight. Charging documents state that the suspect grabbed one of the deputies and choked her, likely trying to suffocate her. Two deputies had to fight for their lives on Christmas morning. They uh, obviously were shooken up. Their families were shooken up. Um, while all of us were at home opening presents with our kids on Christmas or being with loved ones, this happened, you know, four or five in the morning. Deputies spotted a car parked in the northbound lanes of Highway 89 with its brake lights on, and inside, they say, was Benzamini Pua. When they talked with him, he wasn't making sense. Court documents state Pua was talking to a person who was not there. One deputy noticed a pipe with white residue consistent with methamphetamine and an open case of beer. Once out of the car, Deputy Sepua tried to make a run for it through a fence along Frontage Road. He actually began a physical fight with them in which he uh, physically assaulted them. Uh, attempted to choke one of them unconscious. One of the deputies say in a probable cause statement, Pua pinned both of us to the ground. Both of these deputies are very small in stature. and He's a very large man in stature, mm -hmm. so about a foot in height difference between them. The PC goes on to state, he made multiple attempts to grab my taser. And there was a significant blood exposure on the scene. Detectives say Pua was tased twice before they were able to detain him and book him into the Davis County Jail. Both the deputies, I'm told, suffered minor injuries and they're already back on the streets. I'm Jason Wynn in Farmington, ABC4 News.